Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. If you're new here, I am an artist in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada, and I am documenting my art practice for 30 days, working on a sculpture um, that I'm currently calling Greed 2. And I, as I mentioned in my last video, this is the largest sculpture I have, I am, I have made or I'm making um, to date. And so I'm kind of excited about it and I hope you stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be doing this video daily, but not for 30 consecutive days um, because that's a little crazy even for me. Um, I'm going to be doing it. My normal work week is Monday to Friday. And so for you guys, it's going to be Tuesdays to Saturday and I'm going to be posting it daily during the week. So far, my first lesson in this YouTube experience is done is better than perfect. I, uh, I had all these plans for day one. I was going to come in with all these graphics and I had all these talking points and I have been filming since Saturday and today is Tuesday and I am exhausted. <laughs> I last night as I laid awake in bed um, with anxiety I just had to be like you know what done is better than perfect so I have scrapped all those plans and I just wanted to mention that because just to be honest because I know a lot of creatives go through this um, and for me I'm mildly obsessive and I think, um, but that kind of perfectionism can really hold you back from, from being creative. So I, I, when that expression came in my head, I was like, okay, I just have to scrap what I'm doing and get this video done. And I hope you stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. I will get better and I will show those graphics <laughs> in future videos. Um, but for now, here is day one, week one, day one. Okay, so before I get started, I just wanted to quickly talk about my mise en place. Um, it's generally just this, what you see here. This is my beading mat, my four main tools, and my beads. I try to just keep it as minimal as possible and as neat as possible because when you're working with these beads, things can get a little crazy very quickly. So I keep my, my working space um, as maintained as possible. Okay. The beading mat keeps the beads stable, they don't move around, they don't bounce and fall on the floor. Uh, it's really important to have a good beading mat. And then I have my snipper. I use Dazzlet, this snipper from Dazzlet that has a cap, which is really important because these sharp things can poke a lot of holes in your travel bag. So. I really like this cap and these are my favorite snippers so far. I have my scoop which helps me keep the beading piles real neat and I have my pliers which I use a lot as you will see. Finally I have my thread. I use a type of fishing line called fire line and I use 10 pound tested thread and it's really strong. <laughs> Um, um, uh, I think maybe for all beaters a nightmare is, you know, your beadwork popping after many, many hours. And I use this one that's 10 pound tested. It's not gonna pop. Um, but I would suggest to other beaters, if you really like Fireline, buy directly from the company. Um, the the when they market it to beaters, um, they mark it up about 
50 percent it's 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 the same product from the fishing line company um i get this from berkeley um uh, they they made the fireline brand i buy directly from the website i get 300 yard spools and i save so much money uh, because obviously i use a lot of thread um, so i buy smoke and crystal um, from them directly the beads i use are czech traditional beads um, from prestioso these are green iris size 4 and size 8. for this project i'm only using two types of beads and i buy my beads wholesale from a company here in Canada called John Beads and again I save a lot of money <laughs> I have bins of these bags that I get um, at a wholesale price from John Beads which a uh, quick plug here I'm not sponsored by them or anything but I have to say their service is phenomenal I would recommend John Beads to anyone and that's pretty much it I uh, oh I use these trays local KW people know Lensmill I got these from Lensmill um, Lensmill is a strange store that's a little hard to describe but they had these trays there that were really cheap and they're perfect for having multiple projects on the go um, I have my bead mat on they they're pretty much the size of a bead mat and if I want to start a new project I can just pick up um, my area here and move it to the side and I have a new workspace for a new project so I really like these trays they come in really handy um, that's it uh, today I'm going to be making a hexagon um, which is essentially just assembling six triangles and hope you enjoy